Hello everybody. It wasn't until about halfway through this job that I decided I might want to go ahead and record uh, what's going on. I've been having a lot of um, vapor lock issues with my 65 Econa lines with the straight six in it. Just the, the modern blend of fuels is really uh, causing issues. So what I'm doing is running a uh, return line off of a uh, three-way fuel filter which I'll show you here in just a second. But what I've decided to do is just take my return line and tie it into the uh, filler neck here. And so all I've done simply is just kind of bend it in a U shape and put a grommet on there just to seal it up, stabbed it in there. And I'm just gonna bring it around and shoot it back toward the front of the truck where I'll run it along with the existing fuel lines and brake lines and then back up to the engine compartment here where I will tie into it with the uh, filter. And the filter I have here is a Wix 3340. And what it has is one inlet here off the fuel pump and then a vapor line that goes back to the tank and then uh, a supply to the carburetor here so uh, i've seen lots of guys do this on the internet and it seems to fix the problem so that's the plan with the old stoppy jalopy uh it's been fairly straightforward so far just dropped the fuel neck looped me in a uh, a tube there and i will couple that line um, with the coupling I'll just tie it in back here with a uh, coupling right here and uh, it'll go all the way up to the front and that's where I'll tie it into the filter. Let's get a glimpse of the top side of the uh, fuel return lines. You can see here, you got the hard line just coming up off the frame. Just turned it up and attached a piece of rubber hose to it. Took it over to the new fuel filter that I've mounted over here on the side of the doghouse to get away from the heat a little. And got the supply line coming in from the fuel pump down there. So it comes over here and then we just have this return line. Sending some fuel right back to the tank and then a supply line on over to the carburetor. <clears throat> this allows the fuel to cool off a little bit in the filter before it gets to the carburetor as well as keeping the fuel circulating in the fuel pump so it doesn't sit down there and build heat inside the fuel pump here um, where it picks up uh, exchanges heat off the engine so I think these two things working together will really solve the problem um, of um, our gas boiling over uh, in the carb as well as uh, vapor locking uh, in the fuel pump there okay we got this stoppy jalopy all back together um no leaks in the tank i've taken her out on a, a good warm drive on a 100 degree day out here in the midwest and she did find no vapor locking or anything like that so uh she's back to square one again you do all this work and no one can ever tell but uh you know, she's just like a chubby girl. She's built for fun and uh, not for speed. And so we'll just keep uh, patching up the little problems that, that arise and uh, and continue to uh, drive and enjoy her. And now I'm glad that we've got this uh, vapor lock system worked out so I can uh, drive her more uh, during the summer versus letting her sit and waiting for cooler days to drive. Um, She's a real joy to drive, and, and um, I'm happy I found her. So, hey, guys, uh, if you would, uh, like and subscribe to the channel, and uh, you can kind of keep up with this little girl and uh, our adventures. We're going to start hitting some local car events and uh, maybe make some uh, new friends and uh, see what else is out there. I think there's uh, another one of these Econoline pups in, uh, in one of these local clubs uh, within 10 miles of me here so i'm excited to go 
check it out. And thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day.